Well, I feel like an idiot because exactly where I thought all things in Livingston happened, this is not where I'm supposed to be. Holy moly. I don't know what I have stumbled upon, but it's beautiful and I'm so excited for it. Look at this baby. Hi, sweetie. How are you? There's nothing like a garden without a dog. I'm so happy you're here. Are you okay? You just hang out all day? You're so sweet. Can I pet you? Oh, you're a good baby. <laughs> what a good dog. Are you okay? All right. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I know what you're saying. Jamie, we are tired of every Saturday being so much work. The work never ends. But today, we ain't working. We are leaving Longhorn Lester's and we aren't going to j &L, and we aren't going to the sanctuary, but we are going on an adventure. So let's kiss our partners goodbye because they aren't joining. My adventure lies right here. Plot twist. Bye. Have fun. And you're not mad, right? No, I say go. Get on out. We're fine. So the girls are good. So Sweetie. this lady's been working like crazy lately. And I learned that today something is going on in our little town of Livingston, Texas. And I want to go. I want to go check it out. So I thought you might want to come too. So come on, let's load up. It's a beautiful day all over the world your time could be wasting but right now i'm saying that i don't know the words so i make up a song and it's a beautiful day anyway y'all we are headed off the farm today and all of the animals are up front and hanging out with dad Lester asked me to leave the gate open because he's expecting a delivery today. So that requires signature. So more to come on what his special delivery is, but you know how Lester does that fancy drive coming home and or coming to each property. Uh, I do mind when I'm leaving. Oh friends, is your curiosity peaked yet? We're so close. Now I have never been here before. So, I'm actually turning my blinker on way too soon, but holy moly. Holy moly! Do you see all these vehicles out here? These vehicles are not normally here. So, it's called Trade Days. It's a vendor and craft fair, a farmer's market. Uh, clearly, there's a little soccer going on out here today, which might be the bulk of the traffic, to be honest with you. Uh, and there's some baseball happening. I've never been to this park, ever. Well, I feel like an idiot because exactly where I thought all things in Livingston happened, this is not where I'm supposed to be. So I went back to the Facebook post and I found that I'm two miles from where I'm supposed to be. So we're heading there now. Redo, total redo. Okay, this looks much more like what I expected to see. Still a little bit more small, but that's okay. Uh, it's not a sea of soccer players because that's what I pulled into at the other place. Let's check it out, y'all. Okay, strike two. It was the right place, but it's a place that's just getting started. There were about eight vendors there. Uh, two were bakery types, and I bought some bread and some cookies just because I felt like I needed to contribute. But there were no plants, and it was garage sale weekend, so there were a few that were set up with some, some garage sale items, but none of it was appealing to me. So, plan B, uh, we're taking a little bit further drive than we thought we were, and we are going to a brand new plant nursery. I know what you're saying, Jamie, you can't possibly need any plants. I wanna go check it out. It's a place in Huntsville, Texas, and I've been to Huntsville a couple times with Lester, mostly passing through, and Huntsville has everything you could imagine. It is a very large city, it's a college town, um, so if we strike out to the next stop, 
we'll just find ourselves all the way around. Today is about exploring and the journey, and if we see somewhere we want to stop, we're just going to do that. We're going to embrace the explorer in us. That's called random impulse. We might stop by there later. We'll see. See that little red store? That's the one. Anyway, come on. It's fun to be adventurous. It's fun to be spontaneous. And it's okay to roll with the flow. Like, I know that a lot of people are like, I have to have a destination. I have to have a plan. Sometimes the plan is the journey. Sometimes the, the plan is no plan at all. That's what I'm embracing today. So I'm going to snack on the fabulous cookie I bought. I know it's not in the diet. I want it. Okay. I, this is my lunch. It's 1230. I'm having a cookie for lunch. And it's that kind of day. So let's go. Let's take a ride to Huntsville. Here's one of my favorite views of this drive. This is the north end of Lake Livingston up near Onalaska, Texas. And it's called Kickapoo Creek. You know, Lake Livingston is dammed off. Uh, the Trinity River dammed off, essentially. There's a north dam and a south dam. And the Trinity River flows right behind Longhorn Lusters. So it's kind of neat to see the very top end of the lake up here. It's a beautiful day. Holy moly. I don't know what I have stumbled upon, but it's beautiful and I'm so excited for it. So this place is called Kim's, believe it or not. And this isn't on Morrow Hill. But we're gonna go check it out. Look at how cute this place is. Little windmills and tractors and oh the flowers. This beautiful mansion looking place. Can you go in here? Is that woman gonna go in there? This little swing. The landscaping is beautiful. Kim's Home and Garden is what this place is called. And we are gonna check it out together. Okay, so I'm already seeing flowers that I have never seen before. Look at how cute those are. Those are called Marquette daisies. Stunning. Oh, what are you? So pretty. Okay, one thing's for sure. Steph is gonna be really mad that I came here without her. <laughs> like really mad. Don't tell Stephanie about this video because this is a dream place. Everything from plants to seeds to decor to birdhouses to literally, this is a dream place. Oh, she's gonna be mad. I can't wait to show you all the things. From just soaps to scents to, oh, and Lissa's gonna be mad because look at all of the indoor plants too. Sorry, girls. We're gonna have to make this a girls' day trip. Look at this beautiful room, y'all. I'm so in trouble and in love all at the same time. Here's something called a Janet Craig. I don't know who Janet Craig is, but she has beautiful plants. A fatacea, fascia, fascia. That's beautiful. I can't even say half of these words. Look at how cool this plant is. A junkus grass twist. The greenhouse is gonna get an upgrade today. I just want y'all to know. Look at, there's some amaryllis. Look how beautiful. There's some Christmas cactus. I think that Lou and Gigi have the biggest Christmas cactus on Morrow Hill. Oh. I love the chandelier. And the big beams in here. This is awesome. Oh, and they have all of the right things. Do you see? That can't be real. That can't be real. Oh snap, it just got serious. Oh friends, 
This is gonna be so dangerous. Look at how cute those are. A bird of paradise plant. Ferns. Oh my God, that's beautiful. What are you? Trifolium for luck. Oh, I love them. Y'all, this is serious. <laughs> like super duper serious. Look at this beautiful place. Oh, I love those. Right in the heart of Huntsville. Who could have possibly known? All I typed in was plants near me. And this big beautiful place popped up. That, friends, is like an apricot or a peach tree blooming. Look how pretty. I like that they're, I think those are grapes, are growing on their fence line and that they actually do some in-ground gardening here as well. They do classes. Oh, Steph's gonna be so mad. <laughs> All kinds of everything you could want. So, so pretty. I, what is a Japanese blueberry? Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. What is a Japanese blueberry? Oh, ornamental evergreen tree. Okay. I was like, I've never eaten a Japanese blueberry before. Well, that's because you can't eat them. Noted. It's called a golden rain tree. And it blooms yellow. Never heard of that before. They have some really neat interesting things a cottonless cottonwood every time i hear cottonwood i think of the song i just climbed out of a cottonwood tree i was running from some honeybee what are you an alley -um? is that like alley a alley -oop? a savannah holly aren't you pretty so pretty probably crazy poisonous oak leaf holly I'm in love with this place and I can't wait to go inside that big house <laughs> figure out what's what a weeping willow I would love to have a weeping willow around the pond like weeping into the pond I'm gonna have to like um cut that off <laughs> from animals and to be honest with you that would be part of my goals at the JL ranches to um do a weeping willow around that truck and get that truck close to the pond have a like a trailing uh like like the truck is pouring out flowers oh a red bud tree now they have these up north in fact there's a town close ish to where i'm from called red bud red bud illinois fire spike aren't you pretty lester told me today that He's like, you're going to have to get just a few more plants to go into the landscaping so that the dogs don't even have a path to get in. You are as shocked as I am. The mystery gardenia. That is what the ants ate of mine, but it is slowly coming back. Oh, the honeysuckle. God, they're just so pretty. So pretty. Brazilian orchid. Okay. Look at... Look at how it comes out the leaf here. How beautiful is that? I've never seen anything like that. And it blooms purpley. Love it. So this is really strange, but these shiny flowers, my, uh, shiny leaves might be my most favorite thing. It looks like they're plastic and polished. They're not. Okay, planting requirements. Medium watering, check. Matures to deep green, six to seven foot, three to four foot high, hardiness 7A. They're good for full sun or partial sun and heat tolerant. I gotta be honest with you. I have a feeling that the two of these are gonna come with me because that's a perfect filler. So far, those are winning. A limelight hydrangea. Okay, you're beautiful. Oh. Look at that. It's called a tractor seat. 
That, dang it, that's expensive. Man, that's beautiful though. Oak leaf hydrangea, beautiful. Oh, this has gotta be a, I thought it was gonna be a Japanese maple. It is a Japanese maple. I used to have one of these in Illinois. It was on the corner of my house. Learning so many things. A dwarf papyrus called Little Tut that makes spiny little poofy. Those are cool. Really cool. Dwarf papyrus, little tut. Tropical bog plant. Okay, so it likes really wet places. Blooms in the summer. Mm, it would have to be brought into the greenhouse and can get two to three foot tall and wide. So it's definitely a tropical. Okay, so so far I really like the tractor seat, not gonna lie. Really, this is called horsetail reed. Oh, you're cool. It kind of looks snaky though. Oh, that might scare me a little bit. All right, now we're in my space here. Blueberries, pomegranate, peach trees, apple trees. What are you? You look peachy. Peppermint flowering peach. What's a Vitex? Purple. Very cool. Look at you. A Catalpa. Okay. And a silver maple. Well, let's make our way to the back here. We got a red maple. A Cleveland pear. Puts on blooms in the springtime. It's an ornamental pear. So this would be kind of like a Bradford pear for those of you that know what those are. I think that's more common than this. The gone trees that are still naked. Lester was freaking out. He's like, our trees have all died. No, they just aren't back yet. There's a Bradford pear right there. See, similar to the Cleveland pear. So I planted some of this at home and excited to see that grow. It's very tiny right now, <laughs> but it really is beautiful. Look at these. Columbine. Aren't you beautiful? This is hard, y'all. Look at this baby. Hi, sweetie. How are you? There's nothing like a garden without a dog. I'm so happy you're here. Are you okay? You just hang out all day? You're so sweet. Can I pet you? Oh, you're a good baby. <laughs> what a good dog. Are you okay? All right, y'all. Came, saw, and conquered. So Kim's home and garden, this beautiful, beautiful, I'll call it Victorian era. I don't really know if that's the case. Southern home, I'll just say it, is filled with gifts and treasures that you can't even imagine. Then you have the garden center and all of its glory. <sighs> Who knew that a little tiny journey would lead me here? I'm crazy excited because I have things and I have projects. Now let's go home and do them. <laughs>